Keta is a coastal town located within the Volta region. With a population of 23,207, Keta is considered to be one of the settlements with the highest population. Keta has some of the most beautiful beaches you can find, which makes sense because it's located along the coast. Most of the people out here are fishermen and there are a few farmers in between as well. In this video, we're going to get to explore the town, showcase some of the historical sites and get to know the people a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> uh, okay, you're welcome, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Bala is my name. During the tour, all comments and suggestions are please warmly welcome. Mm -hmm. So, we have about 42, 48 fort and castles. Out of that 48, 42 tour the coast of Ghana. Okay. That is why absolutely you hear the Europeans always say Ghana is a gateway to Africa. Mm. That means they look back to history. This is Fort Prinzenstein, which was built by the Danish Norwegians. So enslaved from this fort were mostly shipped to the Caribbean countries. Oh, okay. St. Thomas, St. Louis, mm. St. Croix, St. John. Some were sent to US, North Carolina, and South Carolina, Florida. And then when they brought the slaves in exchange of gun, gunpowder, and sometimes salt. They said metoako or metoako. Mm. So the word was corrupted by the avow. That's the you call them the airways. Right. And the right name is avow. 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 Yeah. So where we are sitting, this is the female section of this fort where they kept the female slaves. Oh. But initially, no ventilations were created. Oh, okay. So it was later they created the ventilations. So about hundred slaves were kept in each of the cells. Mm. And when shipment is ready, the slaves were being counted and brought out here. After they were being sorted out, hot iron were being used to burn them back on the various parts of their body mm. for easy identification. That's the branding, the branded slaves. And you know this, we don't have birth certificates. Mm -hmm. So in order to estimate their age, they look at the state of their teeth. Oh, right. yeah. So this is where the female slaves used to bath. Okay. So anytime they were bathing, the governor stood up there and watched them. And those slaves were being sent upstairs for sexual abuses, even mm. some were raping them. So as a result of those abuse, children were born out of it. Mm. And those are the mulattoes or the barations mm. we have in Keta. Oh, okay. So we have the Jacobson, the Addison, the Holmes, and all those families. Mm. They're and all descendants yeah, of... Yeah, descendants of the slave, uh, Danish Norwegians. Mm. So after they finished bathing, the bathing water still remained, in case they were tested or drunk from oh, the same Oh, God, okay. Wow. Mm. So we walk around, these are some of the art and pictures. Mm. We depicted how the slaves were transported, were footed, and how they were let on board the slave ship. Mm. Yeah. And how they were punished, were branded. So you go around and look at them. Here yeah, they look like they're being whipped by other slaves. Yeah. So it was the same slaves that were beating their own people. Yeah, because if you don't do it, someone will do will, it. You right. also, yeah, you also. Right. So sometimes they fought back clearly. Yeah, yeah, they fought mm. back. Yeah. surprised but it's still a bit it's like every time you come to the slave castle it feels like it's the first time coming you know what i mean yeah okay so this girl tried to capsize one of the slave ships and it was killed a wrong way ah. so and preserve the remains here oh, okay. so sometimes in october and november we do have the live ones coming around oh so you still get them yeah, now yeah, yeah. wow okay even the bone is bigger than like a whole person <laughs> <laughs> So this is the weighing scale for the slaves. For the slaves, they weigh okay. the slaves before they, even before they ship them, they weigh them. Mm. Yeah. And those so who are not up to require weight were left behind for another ship to come in eight to nine weeks time. So still, they realize they could not be shipped. They call them the weak slaves. Mm. So they, they were really treated like a product. Yeah, for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So normally that's why they call them cargos. Wow, cargo. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is where they used to cook for them. Mm. This is the kitchen. Mm. You know, in those days we don't have cornmeal. This is what our ancestors used to grind corn maize. Mm. So who used to cook? The slaves themselves? Yeah, that's why we have the weak slaves. That ah, so they did yeah. the cooking. Yeah. Mm. So that's the storeroom where food were kept. 
Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. We have a shell of a sea turtle over there. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's the cooking pan. Mm. Yeah. This is one of the punishment points. Mm. So in those days, anytime they intended to punish the slaves, mm -hmm. they wait until the sun reached the top or at the middle. Mm. The slaves were brought from the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Nail them down here, tie their hands at their back, mm. shackle their necks. Mm. Resist towards the sun. So before the arrival of the slave ship, sometime the sun rays affected their mostly became partially blind. Mm. Yeah. And those who watch over the slave, the security guard, this is why they slept. Right. So this is one of the remaining male dungeon. Mm. About 100 to 200 slaves were kept in here. Mm. And because of the sufferings they went through, some of them even tried to use their fingernails to create those holes on the ground. So the, this is all from like people trying yeah, to dig exactly, from the... Exactly. Wow. Even all the green stains on the wall were blood. Mm. Yeah. And the numbers there is just the number of slaves that were sent to that. So that's what they believe between, yeah, sent to those places, mm. is assumption. Mm. But we believe there were more than this. Mm. So, here we are. These are some of the materials used in building this fort. Mm. They use oyster shells. Mm. Uh -huh. And these bricks were brought from Denmark. Oh, okay. So when they took the slaves, when the ship was coming back, they used it to ballast the ship. Mm. So where they brought it from, that's where the name of the fort come from. Oh, okay. Prince Stein. What does Prince Stein mean? It means stone of the prince. Stone of the prince. So, okay. Or home of the prince. Okay. Because Stein or Stein means stone. Mm. Yeah. So we have 15 dungeons, mm -hmm. this type, in this, but all were destroyed. Mm. I mean this one. And over here, about 50 slaves were kept in. Wow. So the moment they, brought, they were brought in here, they remained in chains and shackles. Mm. So most of the gates were sloped. Mm. The poor water goes through the lake, it on the floor. Mm. Even the food were thrown to them, they ate on the floor. So most of the slaves became weak mm. because over here they intend to punish them, mm -hmm. some of them. Mm. Wow. And it was all dark as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm. we have another dungeon. Mm. We have eight in this lane and seven over there. Mm. Because the fort is turning up to where the shore. Right. So once we completed the tour of the fort, we went back into town and I found out that Keta only has one bank and Keta has a shopping mall as well. Those are two things I had no idea about. So we're currently at the Keta Lagoon at the part where there's this neglected resort i don't know what it used to be called but it's been neglected for a few years now i've heard various stories about the reasons why it's been neglected nobody knows the real truth some people say the person wasn't paying their taxes some people say the per somebody a guest died or something i'm not sure what the story is but either way it's a beautiful sight it's very serene lovely and it must be seen if you ever head out ketawe yeah. Okay. Uh, they use uh, cassava dough, the okay. cook it, or uh -huh. sometimes uh, dry coconut, okay. the chaff. Okay. They cook it. Okay. And then they put it inside, inside. the bottle. Yeah. Okay. So she just placed them at random places yeah, random in the places. water. Oh, okay. And ah. this one, when you fry it with yakayaki, ah. you grind pepper. I oh. So we made it to Eli's beach. You can't come to Keta and not check out the beaches here. The beaches, it's early. 
Oh, Ellie, not yes, Eli. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie Beach Resort. Okay. Wow. The beaches here are immaculate. They're so beautiful. But yeah, we're just gonna walk around. There's a uh, resort just here where you can um, just sit, have a drink. I guess it's a restaurant as well. And they're setting up some um, rooms along the beach as well, but they're all uncompleted at the moment. And I can see some fishermen down there, so we're just gonna say a quick hello to them before we move to the next destination. The Volta region is a must, guys, if you're ever in Ghana. To the lighthouse in this is text. Way. Way. Oh, this is way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. In the world, we learned that we have two type of this lighthouse. Mm -hmm. One in America and one in Ghana here. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is the only other one aside yeah. from the one in America. Yeah. Oh, okay. The metal one. Oh, okay. The one you go to the demo, mm -hmm. you see the one they do there. They do the blocks. Mm -hmm. And the oh. tap to to mm -hmm. locate trip the same thing. Mm -hmm. There was a six. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this, this is the only one, one is metal. Yeah. How high yeah. is it? The height is like 100 feet. 100 feet? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm about to climb the lighthouse. I'm actually scared of heights. So You're scared of heights? I am. Yeah. But I'll still do it. You can just try. I'll still do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, yeah. Guys, I'm so scared. Like, I'm literally stuck. I'm about to have a, like a panic attack. Right now. Wow. I don't know how many feet this is. This is probably like seven feet or something. I'm too scared to even enjoy the view, guys. <laughs> and it's like when you look down and you see people you're like all the way up and if you look down the staircase as well oh oh my god okay i'm done guys i'm going back i did it for you i'm done see i'm not even letting go of these railings Down. I'm gonna go ask the guy how many feet I climbed because that felt very very high but the whole thing is 100 feet I think so I presume that was probably Patrick the place that I got to how many feet is that? It's 120, it's 120 not 100 oh, okay. so the, I stopped at the first about 30 feet yeah about 30 or 40 feet that's not bad that's not 
did well. I did well. <laughs>
and take it. And take it. Mm -hmm. They're one of the landing beaches that they saw pretty much for for the fishermen. Yep. Ah, okay, for the boat. Uh, for the boat. Oh, okay. It's what they use for the outboard motor. Mm. You start time when you come here, when you come to this beach. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's busy. Uh, 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 most imagine. families come here. Everybody, it's, it's like a picnic stuff. Mm. Iketa is lovely because you, almost everybody is close to the beach. Like, exactly. Almost every town is close to the beach. Yeah. So even if you are broke, oh, you can have something we, fun to get do. To the, when we are broke, oh, yeah. you get, when they cast net, mm -hmm. you go and pull. Pull and then you, you get, get fish. fish. Yes. So then you are At okay. Least you fry your fish, <laughs> do your bakle. <laughs> Your pepper. Your pepper, your good. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Okay, nearly here. Yeah. We need to come in. Hello, where are you? It's very peaceful. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like everybody around here can swim. Yes. Yeah. We'll come stay in between two waters and we'll go out to swim. It's very bad. Yeah. At least know how to do something. Yeah, yeah. We are no small. You're okay, sir. You're okay. Yeah, no small. Yeah, no small. <laughs> okay, at least. The very nice guy, guy, I can you can swim. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the waves are all your beaches are very, very big. Yes. Like, yeah, you guys don't have the small waves like no, 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 Tema no. and stuff. Because oh. you guys have some of the cleanest beaches yeah. here. Despite everything. No, we do organize ourselves. Right. Sometimes, like weekends, mm -hmm. we just like around and we are going to sweep the beach. Mm. Oh, okay. Also do that. oh, okay. No yeah. wonder then. Oh, this is so peaceful. Yeah, I just want to. Really, I know. I just want to sit here and just finish. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice and quiet. We should have brought like some drinks and stuff and just sat here all day. So nice. Emancipation Beach. It's still an ongoing project. It's going to be a beach resort, right? Yeah. Yeah. But they're still there. they haven't completed it yet. But you can still come and sit here and just enjoy the views. The beach is right there. It's so serene, so quiet, just beautiful. Like there's something about the beaches here. Like once you get here, it's like all oh, your worries just fall away. Like, <laughs> I honestly just want to stay here for the rest of the day. Hospitals as well, but then this is like the main one that everybody goes. My name is Bonanza Atipo, and um, 
a tall guy. Most people in town can die anytime. They come around, they need somebody to take them around. They want to talk. And uh, I'm into other things too. We organize events. Okay. Yeah. Anything you want. Okay. You want to buy stuff. Okay. Food. Bye. Okay. And there you go, guys. Thank you for not taking us around today. So just in case you're ever in Kenta, Nas is the one to take you around. He's very popular around here. <laughs> he knows his way around very, very well. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little tour of Keta. If you have, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow your bliss so that life is Follow your bliss and you can't Follow your bliss and you